Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and Unity evolves over time. Over the many years it's existed, it has evolved in many, many ways. Some changes are drastic, some not so much. This change in particular I feel is drastic enough to warrant this short tutorial. So if you've come across this video in the middle of one of my playlists, then I'd stick around for the next couple of minutes. So this concerns our terrain. Now, the terrain itself has changed as of 2018.3. Uh, and what I mean by changed is the way you change different parts of it. So if we click on the terrain itself, you can see that up here we have four options. We used to have many more options. Most of them are now grouped under the first one right here, which is the paint terrain. And underneath there, we can see we have a little drop down menu. Now, you may not have all of these options instantly. They may be kind of locked up, as it were, uh, but don't worry at all. So I'm going to go through each of the drop down menus here. So the first one here is create neighbor terrains and in a lot of ways I think this is why uh, this particular mechanic was changed because this now allows us to have the extra terrains around. As you can see we've highlighted different areas so that is something that we could work with. Next one is raise or lower terrain and that was usually the first option. So this principle works the exact same as uh, the terrain as it was so if you're a bit confused by it don't worry we'll explain it in a normal tutorial. What a great thing I've noticed here is we can see the little purple bump and this little purple bump indicates to you how much or how little the terrain will change when you press it. So there we go. You can see that's how it's done it. And every time we press, you can see the purple outline indicates more and more. I think that is a nice, cool feature to have. And the same applies with all the other paint types. You can see there we've got the different changes and as soon as we do change it, we see exactly what it's predicted will happen. So that is how we can raise our lower terrain. Uh, obviously, this will go into more detail uh, on probably the next video of this playlist. Um, next thing, we have the paint texture. And that one usually is indicated by the paintbrush somewhere in the middle of older versions of Unity. Uh, to do this, what we need to do is set a layer. So you would click on Edit Terrains and Create Layer. Realistically, it doesn't really matter what you do at this point because you can always change what that texture is. But I'm going to go for the grass one right there. So hit the grass and there we go. We've painted our terrain and that's how it would normally have appeared. The great thing about this is that we can change many different things. So if we click on the actual image itself, we can add in a normal map there. So if we go to our normal map, we can just drag and drop as we would normally do in the style that we do but it gives us more options here you can see we can change the normal scale to whatever you want it to be play around specular metallic and the smoothness didn't really have these options as they were like this in previous versions of unity so again i think that is uh, another positive from this change uh, same principle will apply when you probably get to the next video like i say with adding different layers so you would add a layer of um or rather create layer and you would add in your various other textures and then you'd be able to paint as you can see as you normally would. Uh, a lot of this is just kind of finding your way around because this uh, inspector panel this component has changed quite a lot from how it used to look but don't worry you can always find things through the drop down menu. Next one is set height and that is just basically the way of flattening the entire terrain. You see we flattened it it looks like it's disappeared but it's actually gone 310 high. So if we undo that and just put it, let's say, 1, you can see that's how we flatten the terrain out. Uh, this option was somewhere here, I think, on older versions. Again, like I say, it's just finding those different things right there. Smooth height, and that is the one where if you raise height, so we've got all these raised here, the smooth height is the one that allows you to smooth all that over. And you can see as I move that around with the mouse held down, it smooths it out. So that's another one of the options that was kind of up here, but is now in this drop down list. And yeah, basically everything you can do is right there. And you can see the stamp terrain. There we go. Huge, huge. I don't think that was something you could visually see the stamp terrain in quotes there. Uh, it was never an option as such, but Ultimately, yeah, it's that drop down menu. You can find everything you need here. You can see just a little icon there just to kind of help you with your brush a little bit. So that's something new. And a new brush, you can also theoretically create one. So 
That is how the terrain works as of Unity 2018.3. So if you've got 2018, uh, 2019, uh, 2020, 2021, all versions after um, 2018.3, your terrain component will look more like this and less like what they do in those older tutorials of mine. So guys, I hope that's helped a little bit because I've had quite a lot of questions lately over the change. So I thought I would make a video because it would warrant it. Guys, thank you very much for watching.